Hello, journal. Dear journal. A writer who can't even write. Okay. Find something simple to start with. What did I do today? Today I got up. I had breakfast. I tried watching the telly. That's it. I'm going back to bed. Hi, journal. Another day. Each time I wake up for the tiniest of moments. It... isn't... true. But then it all comes rushing back. It... is... true. Looking around my room, everything reminds me of Gran. Her puzzle box gift from last year. The magic tank we made during the holiday. Our yogurt pot robot. These paints Gran gave me. This pen? Even you, Jana. She is everywhere. And all of it feels broken. Today is Ben's birthday. Dad baked a cake. Mum insisted that I come down and have some. It tasted like... Nothing.
everything does. Mum said we need to send out invitations to the funeral. How can she think about that? She's ready to shove Gran into a box like a pet goldfish. Then I stormed off into my room. Later, Dad came up for some well-meant dad talk. I know you're sad, but it will get better. You'll see. Just give it time. I know he wanted to cheer me up, but he's wrong. The world feels very dark now. Gran has a proverb for times like these. Gran always says... It's always darkest before the dawn. No, that's not right. That's what she would have said. When I go to university, she won't be there. When I get my first job, she won't be there. If I get married, she won't be there. Even if that's unlikely because... Boys. I prefer cats. Missing Cran already feels so bad. But how could I want that feeling to go away? How could I be fine with Gran being gone? I'm going to have to feel like this forever. Thanks, Pinky. I can't stop crying. Pinky is probably getting fed up with being used as a tissue, but she never leaves my side. 
I think that means... Get back to writing your story. Pinky's got a point. I should at least try to write. I can't leave Grace like that. She's as lost as I am. My head. Where am I? A grey void surrounded her, swallowing sound and hope. Hello? Grace guessed that if she kept moving, then surely a solution would present itself. Is someone here? Anyone? In the emptiness around her, she found... A hut? A palace? Hope? I... I don't know what comes next. It's so cold here. So empty. Just... nothingness. I can't find... can't find the words. I'm never going to find the dragon. Or the fireflies. They won't come. The words just won't come anymore. I don't know where I am, how to get out, or even where I'm going. Pointless. What kind of writer can't find the words? I messed everything up. Let's try this again. Grace awoke under an old tree, in an unfamiliar land. I don't know if I can do this anymore. She walked boldly ahead, a spring in her step. I'm so tired. Grace knew she just had to keep going. What's the point? Put one foot in front of the other. I've failed. It's over. Whilst she still had breath left in her body, there was still hope. This, this is, is all, all my, my fault. fault. I, should I should just, just stop. stop. Hey, Grace. Leave me. Just leave me. Psst, here. Where? I don't see a thing.
I'm right here. Always was, always will be. I don't understand. And I don't care. You don't? No. Just leave. I'm meant to be alone. Forever alone and useless. You know I'm right below you. I'm not good company right now. You don't need to be. Why don't you tell me how you came to be here? I... It sounds silly when I say it now. I lost a dragon. And now... It's all gone terribly wrong. What were you trying to do before you got here? I was trying to find a dragon. It destroyed everything I loved. I need to get the fireflies back. They will restore my village. But I just don't know what I'm doing anymore. What did you do last time? Last time I what? Found a dragon. What? I've never found one before. Then how can you expect to know exactly what to do? I guess I can't. But I want to. No one ever got anything just by wanting it. You've got to try. You've got to fail sometimes. But I don't want to. I like listening to you. Would you continue? You do? Oh. Well, okay. It's just... I'm so completely, utterly lost. Completely, utterly lost, huh? That sounds like a lot of lost. That's not entirely helpful. You seem to think that it's wrong to be lost. Well... Isn't it? Everyone feels a little lost sometimes. Even me. I have a hard time believing that. I don't mind it, actually. Do you? Well... Yes. I usually know what to do. And where to go. So, if someone else were lost, what would you tell them to do? Hmm... I'd tell them not to give up and find help. How about taking your own advice? I guess it's easier to give advice than take it. Could you get me someplace else? Let me see if I can help you out there. Patience. ask you. Go on. It's... it's difficult. I'll wait. I feel 
feel so wrung out, so exhausted. Can you help me find the strength to carry on? I'm tired, tired of trying, tired of failing, tired of everything. You need a rest. But I can't. I don't have time. Why? My village is depending on me to get the fireflies back. That sounds like quite a tiring thing to do. Well... Yes. Oh, want to take a rest together? That sounds nice. I want to know one more thing. You sound a lot better. I do? I guess I feel better. Well then, time to set course. It's nice of you to listen to me. Any time. So, anything else? I don't know what's right. But at some point you knew, right? You had purpose, hope. Yes. I knew exactly what I needed to do. I had to stop the dragon. Return the fireflies. Save the village. And you couldn't do those things? I tried. But I just ended up doing everything wrong. Everything? Are you sure about that? Well... Think back. Okay. Maybe not everything. Go on. I made a good friend in a little creature called Lump. I miss her. Well then, that's something. This is where I leave. But... I... You're not alone. You are loved. Be kind to yourself. Can I do this? Yes. Be your own light in the darkness. Try. Thank you. Here we go. Again. <laughs> 